In this video, I'll walk you through your active campaign dashboard so you know where to find all of the main features and how to customize it for your business. I'm Jason, growth specialist at Wildmail, where we help make active campaign even better for Europe based businesses. Let's check it out. Let's jump right into active campaign. You can see here, this is active campaign through our reseller at Wildmail. And this is what your menu in the left will look like. You've got getting started. Clicking that will take you into the step-by-step -step guide from Active Campaign for setting up your account. You've got contacts, campaigns, automations, deals, conversations, website, and reports. Yours may look a little bit different based on the plan that you have and the features that you have uh, access to. But one thing to note, if I click into contacts, you'll see that this part here slid over. We have our contacts available here. Uh, but if I hover over the left hand menu here, you'll see these two arrows and you've got another menu, a navigation menu. And now I can manage different aspects of my contacts, their tags, their fields, uh, list, list exclusion, etc. Okay, I can also see reports from my contacts with the secondary menu. So it's very important whenever you're clicking through one of these main features like campaigns, this is where you can send your one off email blasts. If I hover over, I have navigation. And I have managing the content, campaign templates, etc. I also have reports specific to campaigns now instead of contacts. If I go down to automations, this is for your evergreen marketing efforts. You can check out this video here on how to create an automation. And I have my secondary navigation menu open. And from here, I've got my automations map. I can manage my messages for automations. I can send transactional emails, and then I have automation reports. If you have an active campaign plan that includes the sales CRM, your secondary navigation will give you deals, tasks, et cetera. You've got fields that you can manage specific to your deals, not your contacts. You have, uh, let's see, your reports specific to your deals as well. And you can see your funnel performance. We're going to skip conversations and we're going to go down to website. This is where you'll be able to build your forms. You can check out this video for building those. Build landing pages manage site tracking, and see your performance for forms as well. And finally, we have the tab for reports, and this will lead us to all of the reports for campaigns, conversations, website, deals, contacts, and automations all in one spot. So it's very intuitive the way that this left-hand menu is organized. And then finally, if we drop down, we have our main account settings here with additional specific settings in your navigation menu. This is where you can view your developer settings, your API key and your API URL, which you'll need for integrations. Okay, there's other uh, settings that you can manage in here. And then you have apps. And this is where you'll be able to connect the apps that have native integrations with ActiveCampaign. All right, you can search those up here in the top right. So that was the left-hand menu over here and the secondary navigation menu. And we'll go back to our main dashboard. We covered the left menu. And now let's get into the main dashboard. So this section here in the center is the main dashboard. And we'll just run through uh, each feature. We have multiple widgets that you can use here. And I'll show you at the end how to customize it. So first, we have my tasks. This is a unique task list for all AC account users that have access to the CRM. Okay, so if I go to my tasks, you can see I don't have any right now. We use a separate software for this. If you have any questions around that, let me know. The recent activity tab, this shows updates of contact engagement in real time, and that's over here to the right. So you can see when people subscribe, unsubscribe, are sent campaigns, uh, open campaigns, etc. And that updates in real time. Then you can hover over, uh, see additional information. And then you can click in to view their full profile of that contact. Okay. Next up, we'll go to all contacts. This is going to show the total number of contacts here. And you can also drop down and see the total number of active contacts. And that's super important when you're working with active campaign because your active contacts are those that you'll actually be able to reach with your email campaigns. Next up, we've got contact trend and top contacts. So the contact trend is going to show your total contact growth and decline visually. And that's here. 
Uh, it's going to do so over a certain time period. If I click into it, you can actually see your data and you can adjust new contacts, active contacts, total contacts. Uh, you can also adjust the date time range to see your data across a different time range. And then top contacts are your most engaged contacts. And this is going to be shown either by interaction or by lead score if you're using lead scoring. So let's go back to our main menu. You can see here top contacts. And if I click down right now, it says interaction. But if I click the drop down, you can also go to lead engagement scoring uh, if you're using that. News, this is just going to give you the latest information from Active Campaign. They've got nothing new. We've I've already uh, caught up. I'm up to date. Uh, but this is where you would find that here in this widget. For campaigns, this allows you to create a new campaign, view existing drafts, and check your send status on campaigns. So I can see our uh, some of our recent drafts here. I can see some of our latest sends here. And you, if I hover over it, it'll show one-time campaign sent to zero. So it hasn't been sent yet. It's scheduled. Uh, same here. And then if I go to create new, it'll bring me directly into our campaign builder. Okay, you can also reach that, remember, over here in the left-hand menu. Now, manage templates. This is going to allow you to adjust to create new templates for your campaigns. So if I come back, these are templates here. I can hover over and see the names of each one. And these are templates. I can jump in directly to adjust them and use them for our email marketing campaigns. Pipelines. Uh, this is for those accounts that have the uh, sales CRM feature, and it's going to allow you to see the number of new deals that have entered. So if I go to pipelines, we just use this as a demo. Like I mentioned, we have another software that we use, uh, but you can adjust the time range, see the total number of expected revenue, uh, which is marked as open and one. Okay, and I can click in and that'll take me directly into this pipeline. Automations, this will be similar to what we're able to do with campaigns, uh, where we can create a new automation, view the status of recent automations, and then also check the number of contacts that have started or completed recent automations. So here's that widget right here, automations. I can scroll through, hover over and see how many entered, how many completed. And then of course, with the create new button, I can jump right in and build a new automation for uh, our evergreen marketing efforts. Now, one you won't see on our dashboard is the e-commerce widget, and that is for seeing additional metrics if you have an e-commerce shop, but only if you have a deep data integration set up. Uh, you can check out our videos on our marketing automation channel for more information about e-com deep data integrations, uh, but that would be available as an additional widget for you if you have that feature. So now that we've gone over all of the different widgets and what they allow you to see and, and do, let's go into how to customize this dashboard. So you probably noticed when I was hovering over each one, the little X that appears. Okay, this will allow you to remove a widget. If I remove contact trends, for example, it's no longer here, but you can add it back in along with additional widgets right down here. So we have interaction rate for our contacts, interaction trend for our contacts, and contact trend, which I just removed. So if I click that, You'll notice that it has been added back to the bottom of our dashboard. And then if I hover over, you'll see the four way arrows here. That means that I can move this widget if I just click and drag it back up to its top position. And you can do that with all of these widgets, customize the dashboard to your liking. Okay, you can use this as a quick snapshot for your most valuable information, move this around, eliminate those widgets that you don't need to see. One other important button in this main dashboard area is this blue one up here. And this is for using your main features from one spot. So you've got create a campaign. It's another way to jump in directly to campaigns. If I click the drop down, I can add a new contact, add a new deal, or add a list. Typically, we won't be adding a list. Uh, we're only going to use one main list that we created in the beginning. Uh, you can check out this video for keeping a clean and organized CRM. And finally, one other feature of your active campaign dashboard that you will only see if you go through us at WildMail is this chat widget over to the bottom right. So if I click that, this is going to give you immediate access to your WildMail dashboard. If I click that, you'll see here, I've got the link to go back into active campaign. I can book my onboarding call, which is free. I can go into wild metrics, which is email analytics to track revenue by uh, automation, revenue by tag and revenue by campaign. 
And then we also have access to our training library. You can adjust your billing. Okay, all of this is done through this widget in the bottom right. We also have access to all of our help docs over here for Active Campaign, the WildNow app, and Wild Metrics. And then by clicking Ask, you've got direct access to our support team, which responds in under an hour uh, during business hours, super fast. And um, all of that will be available here directly from your dashboard. So if you have any questions around the features of your Active Campaign dashboard, your widgets, uh, just drop them below. We'll be happy to answer those for you, show you where to locate something. If you can't quite find it, no worries. Uh, just let us know. We'll be happy to help out. Bye.